And there we go. All right. So doing well. Game, game one of the World Series starting today. Very exciting stuff, right? It is exciting, it Evan. Is exciting, um, Evan. Like, it never gets old. Never gets this old. is going to be my second World Series. Second World Series. It's, um, very excited for all this. Yeah, so like you said, it's, an, it's your second World Series. Got the first chance in 2019 with the Nationals and Astros. That went to seven games, was an incredible series. So can you just describe for me what that was like back in 2019 and what it means for you to get a chance to do this again on baseball's biggest stage? Yeah, that's a that's a good question. Um, you know what? It was um, my first World Series was amazing. Um, I think it's the only time in um, actually Major League history that uh, the team that won the World Championship never won a home game. So that's something that uh, has never been done. So that was exciting, just on that aspect of uh, the history and stuff. But um, you know what? It was back in nineteen. It was so real. Uh, that, it's kind of a blur because uh, it was my first and um, it was so exciting um, to have my family with me and my friends. And um, it was just a, a good experience. And on that note of family and friends, you are on the road for the majority of the year calling all these games throughout the baseball season. So um, is it hard being on the road for so many months of the year? And um, what's the most rewarding part of it all? Um, another good question, Evan. Um, you know what? It, it's just part of the life. Uh, uh, me and my wife, Margarita, talk about it all the time. Uh, the sacrifices being on the road. Um, it's tough being away from uh, my two daughters um, and my wife. Um, but at the same time, I love what I do. So when it's time to put the uniform on and, and do the games, um, that's easy. But the hard part is getting on a plane every three days and checking in a hotel every three days. That's the hard part, being away from the family. Yeah, I'm sure. Um, and do you feel any added pressure calling such a big game? You know, this is, there's going to be millions of people watching, especially this series with Yankees and Dodgers. It, we're going to have viewers in Japan, you know, across the oceans with Shohei Otani. So big international audience as well. So is there any kind of added pressure that you feel on yourself on this big stage? Evan, you're killing this. Uh, yeah, you know, <laughs> I, 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 the way you just put all that, yeah, it's it sounds like it's, um, you know, the buildup for this is amazing. You know, Yankees, Dodgers, uh, what, a, what a series. Um, but, you know, at the same time, I've been doing this for a long time. And, um, you know, it, I always have jitters if it's, uh, you know, a game in April or a game um, today. I'm still going to get excited. Um, yeah, the, the stage is a little bit bigger than in April, but uh, then it is in April, but um, it's going to be exciting. And um, I, I'm sure the jitters are going to be right there and I'm going to be excited for it. But at the same time, I have a job to do and um, that'll calm down really fast and just got to get what I have to do. Yeah. And that's the main thing. So I have a kind of a personal question. I'm a big baseball fan myself. Um, so do you have, you mean the umpiring in the major leagues for over 25 years now. Um, so throughout the years of umpiring, do you have a, a distinct player interaction that you consider your favorites? You know, you've interacted with all kinds of major league legends, I'm sure. Um, yeah, that's, a, speaking of that, who's your favorite team, Evan? I mean, if you're a big baseball fan. <laughs> um, I'm actually a humongous Yankees fan. I'm oh. born and raised from, from <laughs> Long Island. Yeah, so just outside of the city. Um, so I'll be pulling for the Yanks in this one. There you go. So that there you go. Evans Evans on the Yankee board right there. No, um, <laughs> you know what? I, I think the 26 years that I've been in the major leagues, um, the interactions and different situations I've had is all unique. Um, I think probably the only one that I, I kind of a story I tell is with the legendary uh, manager, um, Lou, P Lou Pinella. Um, you know, when, when Lou was younger and when he, you know, just started managing, he was pretty uh, intense individual. Um, I had an interaction with him and when he was a manager at Seattle, um, it was a day game and it was just one of those games that uh, wasn't going right for the Mar home team Mariners and, um, Lou just came out uh, to argue a still play at second base. Um, and shocking enough, he uh, just wanted to get ejected. Um, it was just a hot day in Seattle. And 
Um, he's just like, hey, you know what? I've just seen enough. And I ended up ejected him. It was kind of like one of those uh, commercials kind of where you see like, just yeah, have a good dinner, you know, and just shaking your head. And he just wanted to go. And Lou is always a very respectful to the umpires uh, later in his career. And a very, very uh, nice man. Yeah. And that was actually going to be my next question. What's the, the most memorable uh, manager ejection that you have? So I guess the Lou Pinella one was good. And the one that I always remember from Lou Pinella is when he gets, I don't remember which umpire it was, but it was when he was the manager with the Cubs and he kicked the dirt on the umpire. That's the one that sticks out to me. Um, so I, I'm also curious now, speaking of, of managers that kind of have that reputation of, you know, being a little bit more emphatic, I guess, when they don't agree with the call. Uh, I know Aaron Boone is a perfect example of that. So do you guys get kind of any heads up saying like, okay, here's what you need to look out for if this happens, you know, um, like this particular manager has more likelihood of disagreeing with one of your calls? No, you know what evidence? It, it's an even playing field. Uh, most most of the stuff you see on TV, um, you know, on Sports Center or on your sports show at night, um, if it's interacting with the umpire, you know what? It's more made up of what it is because you know what? Again, they're going to get ejected and things happen. Um, things happen time to time, um, but um, it's pretty much most of the time uh, just very professional. Um, they know they're going to see you again. You're going to see them again. So it's it's a professional thing. Um, it, and again, it's things happen on the field and you just got to take care of it. And I guess last thing on uh, uh, players and managers, uh, do you ever get, I know some of the players on that, on that field, especially someone like an Aaron Judge is just a behemoth at the plate. And they're just like, I, I would, if it were me behind the home plate, I would be a little intimidated just by the size of the guy. Um, so does that ever cross your mind? Like, Oh wow, this guy is huge. Well, I'm, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Yeah. Yeah. Aaron judge is, he's a very uh, tall person and uh, very, um, not only is tall, but he's a very nice individual. Uh, Aaron judge is a very, very respectful, always says hi. And, um, you know, how are you doing? And, um, um, he's, he's a very nice guy. So, um, at that though, when you look at him in the batter's box, it's, it's pretty intimidating. He's a, he's a large man and, um, you know, what? Uh, also a good player though. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and then last question, um, what games can we expect to see you behind the dish? Uh, just one game, Evan, and that would be game four. Um, I'm starting at second base today and we work a seven, um, person, seven person, uh, crew, uh, which once, once I get to first base, uh, the following night, I will be off the field, which would, that would be game three. And then on game four, I'd be behind home plate. All right. Awesome. Well, we'll look out for you. Awesome, Evan. Thank you for uh interview and uh, good luck to you and hope to meet you uh, sometime in person. Yeah, sounds great. Thank you so much, Doug. And again, best of luck with, you know, all the moving around, all the travel, all the calling, everything you got to do. So yeah, best of luck. And I really got to say, really uh, respect what you guys do as a major league umpire. It's a very, very tough job, I'm sure. Thank you, Evan. I really appreciate it. And like I said, uh, uh, just want to give a little shout out to uh, all my friends and family back home that couldn't make it. And uh, my lovely wife, Margarita, and my two daughters, Mia and Maya, um, love them to death and my family too. So, All right. Awesome. Thank you so much, Doug, again, for your time. Best of luck tonight. And then throughout the series. Thank you, Evan. Take care of yourself. You got it. Thanks. Bye. Bye.